It's estimated there are some 5,000 Nigerian prostitutes in France, who between them bring in about 15 million euros a year. How did these girls end up on the streets of Lyon? They agree to be interviewed at a friend's house, away from prying eyes. Jessica and Grace are both from Benin City, a town in southern Nigeria. They left home at age 18, immediately after high school, to become prostitutes in Europe. I arrived in uh, Italian before I come back to, to France. In Italy? Yes, because we take boats from Morocco, uh, uh, from uh, Libya. And then you arrived in Italy? Yes. From Tele to Lyon. It's everything. Unlike Jessica, who came via Italy, Jessica was given false papers and flew directly to Paris. Two journeys, both financed by the same network, that now keeps a close eye on them. While filming, the phone suddenly rings. Hello? I'll be there in 10 minutes. I'm on my way. That's why I'm, I'm not at home. Jessica is called to order by her female pimp, her madame, as they're known in Nigeria. Jessica has left, and her friend Grace breaks down and reveals how the madams use money to keep them on a short leash. When you arrived, you knew that you had to go on the street? Yes, but you told me, but I didn't think it's like this. I didn't know it's like this. You have to stay... We stayed the... The street like this. It's my madame that pay everything. My transport, my transport fare to come to France. Nobody came uh, from Nigeria to this side by herself. It's madame that bring everybody. The system is straightforward. The madams pay for the voyage to France and the girls need to pay them back five times over before they've cleared their debt. When I come, they say I will pay 50,000 euros. I say, okay, there's no problem. If I can pay this 50,000 euros, and I can help my family. I take off myself, the food, the house rent. I do it by myself. With, with your work? Yeah. You pay, but then you have to give money to the madame? Mm. Every 10 days, I'll also give her money. Over the past five years, Grace has paid back 45,000 euros. She still owes her madame 5,000 euros. She's never had enough to send anything to her family. She has no choice. The network's grip is impossible to loosen. Those that pull the strings are back in Nigeria. Nigeria is the most populous country in Africa and one of the most corrupt, too. Lagos, the commercial capital with its 15 million people crowded into the city and its vast expanse of slums. Chaos and misery go hand in hand. We are due to meet with Lara, whom we've been told is a madame and responsible for sending her golds off to Europe. She owns a trendy hotel and club. We pass ourselves off as tourists, inspecting her hotel, looking for good addresses to pass around in Europe. Lara spent 20 years in London and claims she paid for her hotel with money earned teaching. The hotel is full of girls whose mission will be to entertain a male clientele. Lara is said to have spent 1 million euros building what, by local standards, is certainly top of the range. The madam, the procuress, insists on her story about having been a teacher. Beautiful. And it was your dream to build that? Yes. It actually, after working for so many years as a teacher, I thought that what I can do, what can I do to develop the country and especially the new area. So we came around here and then 
we develop these areas. Thank you. please. Her hotel and disco, she believes, will certainly satisfy all of her clients' wishes. Oh, with a lot of friends, you will enjoy yourself. There are so many girls here to dance with you, to enjoy with you, to relax with you. That same evening, as we try to find out more about her, we head back to the nightclub in Lara's hotel. One of her employees tells us that she is indeed involved in providing girls for the European prostitution scene. 